since uh, February, March 2019, we see the DAP network uh, coming more and more. And now 2020, there are no excuse to not build with the, the DAP network. So it's clear that the, the DAP network, I see that as the middle, middle ground layer, middleware layer, where you are comfortable to build your uh, solution because you are not directly communicating with the operating system. You are far away of the operating system and you are using a middleware. Uh, in the software engineering, it's what we want. Welcome back to DAP Talk TV, the open conversation between the Liquid Apps team and the DAP Network community. I am here with uh, someone who you probably see very often in your Telegram channels in the DAP Network or the EOS communities. I'm here with Patrick from Nova Crypto. What's up, Patrick? Thanks for uh, joining me here. Hello, Zach. Thank you for having <laughs> me on your show. Thank you. So, Patrick, most people know you as Nova Crypto. You're all over uh, social media and Telegram. You're a very active member of, of the blockchain community. You're in the Liquid Apps channel. But I, a lot of people don't know much about you. This, I mean, if they've been to your webinars, which we're going to get to in a little bit, they may have seen your face, but this might be the first time seeing your uh, beautiful mug here. So why don't you introduce who you are, what your background is, and then we'll kind of go from there. Okay, so thank you, uh, Zach, for having me on your show. Uh, I will explain me a little bit about me, uh, my background. So I'm Patrick Bernard Schmid. I am based actually in Switzerland, you know, but I, I want also to, to be uh, in other country if I could, if I could. So I am here in Switzerland and I am doing since day one with the EOS ecosystem um, all the best that I can and when I say all the best, I think it's about the education. You know, we have to educate the people in the EOS ecosystem, not only on the side of the technical side, but also on the other sides. And for this reason, I was becoming an EOS Nation ambassador uh, in October 2018. And that was popping in my mind already in June of the last of the same year. Uh, because I was looking for a block producer with uh, strong values. When I say strong, I think about not only development, but also education. And it's exactly what EOS Nation is providing since day one. So your, your background's very technical. You're, you're a developer and architect yourself. Um, Want to talk about that a little bit, uh, just to add some context of like where you're coming from with your knowledge base? So I am at the base layer, I am a software engineer. So since 1995, and since this uh, period, I was uh, engaged in different companies. And one day I, I was uh, thinking, okay, I want to be uh, in, independent. So I was creating my first consulting company on the side of the business intelligence, so the BI, and the data analytics. So create dashboards, create uh, different uh, KPIs, uh, performance indicators for different companies, different sectors. And do, since 2012, I have created the framework named Gestec. And this framework is a toolkit with a UI. And you can manage your CRM, your ERP, uh, so your accounting. You can manage your uh, BI, your data analytics. So you cover the, the, the pyramid and uh, also electronic document management. So, uh, and that was totally verticalized for my customer from 2012 until 2016. And it is exactly the day, 2016, the year where I was very interested about Ethereum, that I was uh, uh, see coming and uh, I would know wh what does it mean to, to, to program it with that. And I, I was trying Solidity, uh, some, some uh, programming with Solidity and I was thinking, okay, this is not exactly the, the, the programming language that I want to use because when you have used other programming language uh, as a software engineer, Solidity is maybe not the, the best programming language. And, but it's not about programming language, it's also about use case that you can solve. And with Ethereum, I saw that my use case could not uh, 
come to fruition because when you want to create a platform. And in 2017, November 2017, I was showing uh, the EOS ecosystem, blockchain ecosystem coming uh, with the vision of the Narimer, with the code is intent versus code is, uh, code is law. And I, I was thinking, okay, that's a totally new paradigm. I have to go in it. And uh, for this reason, I was creating Nova Crypto as uh, an integrator in the, in the blockchain to decentralize the centralized world with the decentralized world. That's the, my, my uh, motto. So, so let me just kind of recap here. Uh, you, had, you had a background, uh, you worked for, uh, you had a company that did um, like the business intelligence, CRM, ERP stuff, like which in a traditional sense. And then in 2016, you kind of found Ethereum and you wanted to like have, build something similar, but in a decentralized manner. Uh, you, you hit roadblocks with just scalability at the time. And then you saw EOS and you, you saw that as maybe the solution to your scalability problems. Uh, what, what happened from there? So what happened from, from there? So uh, when the mainnet launched in 2018, uh, I was uh, totally bullish on the EOS mainnet as a lot of uh, developers. And uh, by the time evolving with EOS Nation block producer also with their uh, educational mindset, uh, I was seeing that no, it's not true. The EOS mainnet has to be to stay a settlement layer, uh, or let's say uh, auditable layer that you don't touch. EOS mainnet has only to be used by uh, the, the the Rex or by uh, other system that give the flow of the of the value. Uh, and when I say value, uh, I, I I think about money into the EOS mainnet, the public network. Uh, that is permissionless. And I was thinking, how can I build my DAP, my smart contract in a more uh, abstract way? And at the beginning of the year, I remember February, March uh, 2019 was coming the DAP network. And at this time, that was totally game changing because we, we were uh, seeing that we could connect the different EOSIO uh, networks or base chain that we have in the EOS ecosystem. That was the year 2019, the, the, the boom of the DAP network. And now where we stand now, 2020, um, it's clear that the DAP network is alive, it is running, it is no more a dream. And uh, the, there are no more excuses to, to not building with the, the DAP network. And, on top of this layer, I will add now the getaway layer because uh, if you want to onboard on the EOS ecosystem, if you don't have a getaway like uh, DAP account or uh, DWeb, uh, that is in the DeFi. DWeb is um, on the DeFi side, but with mm -hmm. DAPs on top of the of your token in the DWeb. Uh, that's the perfect way to onboard into the EOS ecosystem just with an email and uh, that you trust your custodian. Uh, and I have totally trust in this um, in this system. So now with all that on the table, I, I think me more comfortable to create my platform. And now I am in MVP and I am, I am in team building. I say that since 2018 already, but uh, now that's come more uh, clear what I have because I have Nova Crypto, that's the startup for uh, real decentralized solution. I have the EOS blockchain Switzerland. This is the educational platform that I have created in uh, December 2018. And I do workshops, that's my, um, why I do workshop? Because uh, this is a good way to educate myself and also to educate the, the community. You, you've been doing uh, these workshops uh, for a while now. You did one back in February. That, that one was in person. That was pre-corona. Uh, and you, co you covered uh, DAP Network a little bit there. What, what did you co So why don't you kind of talk about what you did in February, then we'll talk about uh, the upcoming one. So the coming one is uh, the June 23rd. And after that, that was uh, April 23rd. So April 23rd, I was online and I was repeating what I have already repeating in the past. It's about 360 degree vision of the EOS ecosystem, the EOS, the EOS IO protocol, and the smart contract platform that deliver this EOS IO open source software. That is a general overview. Now, the June 23rd, it's something other. Uh, uh, that will be the first time that I will have guests 
on my uh, workshop. I will have three interviews with blockchain builders, uh, three strategic questions. And I will have uh, Stéphane Bisson of EOS Nation, the producer. It's clear we will not uh, speak about uh, technical. We will speak about uh, the ambassador program. Then I, I will have uh, Pavel Jakovlev. This is one of the partners of EOSIO Swiss Workshop. He is based in uh, Switzerland in Civil Labs, Crypto Valley uh, in Switzerland, in Zug. So the heart of the Crypto Valley. And I will speak with him about um, what he think about the DeFi. Because in Switzerland, when you speak about DeFi, uh, you know, we are in Switzerland, we have the bank, we have uh, the, the banking sector. And when you speak about DeFi with a banker, uh, maybe you have to go uh, uh, in the jungle if you want to be uh, quiet. <laughs> so uh, no, I, I think uh, Pavel is a good fit in the in the workshop coming. And then my third guest will be Eya Lertzog, uh, co-founder of Banco. And with, with him, we, sp we, we speak about um, the decentralized web service, how it is becoming today possible to do something decentralized because we have the blockchain and before that was not possible. And we are speaking of that. And beside of this interview, each time that I have finished an interview with a guest, I will introduce uh, EOS Nation tool uh, about X Nation, uh, about uh, proxy nation, about uh, block activity, about uh, ERP, about uh, scratch the surface of the web because EOS Nation is an operator on the web. And when I have the, 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 the finish the speech with AL, I will go more deeper uh, let's say in the detail with the web. What what does it mean to be on the web? Why why to go on the web indeed? Uh, and I will also cover the other apps uh, such as SenseChat, uh, Eripedia, um, Blocks.io. So all these apps that we need uh, each and every day to do our um, our uh, daily business in the EOS ecosystem. So this is not technical. Uh, I would say it's not a programming course. It's not about uh, creating smart contract. It's to about it's about to understand what is what uh, because we speak about a tool and we don't know exactly why we need. There, are, there there is always a reason. So that's the goal of this EOSIO Swiss workshop. And at the end of this EOSIO Swiss workshop, the YouTube video will be available for the people that were not able to attend. And uh, in the below description of the YouTube video, they will have a web link to a mind map. So a mind map is just a, a document with all the topics, all the links that I have discussed during the, the, the workshop. And like this, you can dive like in a tree, uh, like in a knowledge base. And th the goal is to, each time that I have a workshop, uh, each and every two months I have a workshop, each time I have finished with a workshop, uh, the mind map will connect together. And like this at uh, December, that will be the last one, the 9th of December, you will have a knowledge base with all the links, all the topics that I have discussed during the workshops uh, in order that the people can dive into and uh, search the information in, a, in an easier way to, to find the information. That's the, the goal. Let's just plug it real quick because some people are going to be watching this after it's already out. Some people are going to watch it before it already came out. Where can people find this? Oh, oh yeah. So the, the, the main website to find the information is eosblockchainswitzerland.ch. So we're here for DAP Talks. Uh, you talked a little bit about DAP Network at the beginning and how you found it and what you thought about it. But I guess now would be a better time to, I, I guess, dive in a little bit deeper about your thoughts of it and your understanding of it. So... What are your general thoughts of, of DAP Network and what are some of the uh, projects you have your eye on? I know you're planning to use it for the software you described at the beginning of this, but what are some other projects that are building that have your eye? When I was uh, trying to build my platform at the very beginning in 2016, there is no, no matter, there was no uh, uh, decentralized uh, uh, layer, there was no uh, possibility, but now, since uh, February, March 2019, we see the DAP network uh, coming more and more. And now 2020, there are no excuse to not build with the, the DAP network. So it's clear that the, 
the DAP network, I see that as the middle, middle ground layer, middleware layer, where you are comfortable to build your uh, solution because you are not directly communicating with the operating system. You are far away of the operating system and you are using a middleware. Uh, in the software engineering, it's what we want. Uh, we have also the APIs with Diffuse to go in the history and also in the future. Uh, we have Hyperion, that's also APIs. Uh, all is about APIs, but on top of the APIs, we have this nice uh, DAP network. And on top, I would say, on the top of the DAP network layer, we have something that I call it uh, the getaway layer. <laughs> and in this getaway layer, we have the uh, DAP account, for example, uh, where you can onboard into the EOS ecosystem with just an email. And uh, your EOS account is uh, managed directly behind the scene. Um, after that, you have uh, D-Web that adds something to the table. Uh, that's the DeFi uh, aspect and the liquidity, liquidity token. So I choose um, currently, now that we speak, uh, I choose uh, D-Web uh, to, to build my educational web, uh, decentralized web service or liquid interconnected decentralized web service. And also micro, because uh, you can uh, treat a service that do just a little thing and another service that do just a little thing. And when you connect together, you have the big thing. And for a startup like, uh, like me, and I think for other startups also, we have sometimes a big uh, business model in mind. We have just one business model. And sometimes you hear some people that are t talking to you that you have to pivot your business model, and I both coming to the conclusion that I that indeed you can have a one to n one to many uh, business model for your company. So my big business model is to create a liquid market of software licenses. I I am totally convinced of this use case, but that soon to be something very big. And so before to go to that. I have to go with a micro decentralized web service. And that's, it's possible now with the web. And uh, yeah, I think that the web plus DAP account plus the, the, the DAP network as a backbone, we will enter in a new internet of uh, value. That's the new age. That's nothing to do with the internet of information that you that we experience today. So for me, it's now possible to create platform, uh, decentralized platforms, and to collaborate with other people and not compete. Because I think uh, if you are creating your solution, you think that your solution is good. But if you can collaborate with someone else, you have a synergy. That's the, the, the best things to do. Uh, that's what I want. That's the beauty of the EOS uh, ecosystem. It's an exponential operating system. Uh, it is always changing. The components in it are the dynamic. And uh, to be more comfortable, you need some layers. And uh, the, the, the DAP network uh, middleware trustless layer with the DSPs, with all this uh, beautiful ID, that gives you some uh, certainty but at the same time, you need other layer on top because if you stop to the DAP network and you don't go to the getaways, um, we will always stay as we are. And uh, we have to, to onboard non-EOS users in the EOS ecosystem, not only uh, EOS users, but also non-EOS users, regular uh, users. So I would say now I feel me comfortable because I have uh, since 2018, uh, I have built uh, step by step, block after block. Uh, I am not a block producer, but I would say block after block. And now I have all on the table and I have to, to I would say, find the right people to do the, the, the mix, uh, the, the things co uh, coming true. So that's the, where I am now. Uh, I, am, I say I am in MVP, I am also in MVE. Um, the most viable ecosystem, not only an MVP, but an MVE. So for me, teams like uh, Blockstart, uh, DAP Solutions, um, D-Web, uh, EOS Nation include, uh, EOS USA with uh, Michael Bonin as a super DevOps, 
uh, we need like uh, guys that are very uh, strong in their skills and yeah we will build something uh, fantastic I, i am convinced all right patrick thanks for joining me uh just one last time let's plug the event uh june 23rd 2020 if it's in the past go check it out uh if it's in the future uh it's going to be from 15:30 till 17:30 utc on june 23rd As you mentioned, you shouted out the whole US Nation team. Stefan will be a guest. Uh, Ayal Herzog will be a guest. And Paul, I'm going to mess up his name, but from CV Labs. Uh, you talk about all these cool projects, talk about all the US Nation tools. So check that out, guys. Um, so I guess until next time, uh, go DAP. Go DAP. Go DAP. <laughs> go DAP. <laughs>